Okay, love. Welcome home to Eden. So the question is for creating really swift reaction to the climate situation, we're going to be living more like the people here do. I'm in this amazing home where almost everything we're eating tonight, they have grown. They've made their own maple syrup, their own cucumbers and potatoes and onions all grown by them. Uh, but the, the thing is, we first have to talk about the situation with our friends and our family. And that's the hardest thing, is how do we talk about the taboo of the danger that we're in right now and how we might not even have a clue of how intense, you know, the, the situation could be if we don't respond swiftly in terms of the starvation that, could, that is already starting to happen um, around the world from storms and such. So, basically, the thing I want you to think about when you're talking to your friends and family and you want to bring up this topic and get everybody on board is the difference between nice and kind. The reason we don't talk about climate change is because we all want to be so nice. We want to be nice and not make some ruin somebody's night, not scare somebody, not make them unable to eat their dinner. We want to be nice. But if the house is on fire, like Greta Thunberg talks about, if the house is on fire, you don't want somebody to be nice and polite. Go like, ah, I don't want to. I didn't want to wake you up, so I let you burned alive. <laughs> you know, I did, I just you know, hey, wake up. No, you want them to shout, get the hell out of there. <laughs> you want them to grab you by the feet if you won't wake up and drag you, right? So kindness is the is the is what you do when when the fire when it's house is on fire you're kind by shouting and screaming and kicking and dragging somebody that is kind in the situation so you need to think of that when you're feeling uncomfortable like you can't talk to anybody and you you don't want to ruin supper you know well ruin it <laughs> ruin supper but once we all get through the trauma of the first understanding of the situation um, of, of our our planet heating up too fast uh, for us to survive unless we remove the situation <laughs> we all do what we have to do um, as soon as we get through the first shock and the grieving and we hold space for each other with compassion you know at first there's I don't know, but for you, it's like nightmares and uh, many sleepless nights and um, constant w looking on the internet for more information. Once you get through there, you can make peace with where you are at in this lifetime, that you were born at an incredible time in history. And the reason you're here is to be of great benefit. You know, we made this soup tonight, and and we're gonna and it's all this organic stuff. When I said, "Would you spice the the the, the soup?" She goes out into the garden and gets all these vegetables, these little you know savory like like spices that are alive. She puts them in there. <laughs> it's so fun, you know. So learning how to live sustainably is exciting and joyous. There's a wood stove here keeping us warm. That's it. <laughs> So I love you, love. The difference between nice and kind is what you're going to register, that you are allowed to be a badass. <laughs>